Hi, I'm Susan Lucci, and you're watching FoxNewsMagazine.com. When, when I sat down um, on the aisle that night, at, uh, it was in the garden, Madison Square Garden that night, um, Rosie O'Donnell was sitting on my left, my husband was sitting on my right, and Rosie O'Donnell said to me, Susan, when you go up on stage tonight to win your Emmy, and mind you, this was my 19th nomination, never having won. She said, when you go up tonight, give me your handbag because when they call your name, you'll be all excited and you'll stand up and it'll fall and you'll step on it and you, you won't like how that looks on TV. And I said, thank you, Rosie, very much, but the truth is history has taught me that I'm not going up on that stage. I'm a hopeful person, but thank you, I don't think so. Anyway, when Shamar Moore called out my name and he was so adorable and he called out, you know, the streak is over. We were in the garden, as I said. I thought he was announcing some playoff scores. It was May, there was hockey, there was basketball. I thought, well, isn't that nice? He's keeping everybody up, up to speed. And then he said, my name, I never heard my name. Because after the ninth time of not hearing my name called for, as a winner of the Emmy, I, it must be a protective mechanism. I would go kind of numb. I wouldn't really ever hear the person's name. And anyway, so they called my name. My biggest fear at that point would be that I would go up without hearing my name correctly, but I knew it was my name because Rosie O'Donnell reached over and took my evening bag. My husband picked me up by my elbow, and I tell you, I just, uh, my husband escorted me to the stage, and I thought my knees felt like they were jello at that point. And then when I turned around, when I got on stage and saw the entire industry on their feet, and Oprah Winfrey cheering, in the wings and Rosie O'Donnell standing up and Kelly Ripa crying and cheering. I just, I didn't even think I could speak. You know, it, it's a moment I'll never forget as long as I live.